What's going on today? Jason with X Bacon Gaming, bringing you my review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. And this is coming from the eyes of an Apple guy. Stay tuned. Let me start by saying I do own two iPhones, two Apple TVs, MacBook Pro, two iPad Minis. So i pretty invested in the Apple ecosystem, but once I saw this beauty, I, I decided it was time, time to, to, to make the change. Uh, the things I was impressed with and what made me want to make the change was all the items listed on the back of the box. The Note 7 comes with a 5.7 inch quad HD AMOLED display that is absolutely gorgeous. It is equipped with a 12 megapixel main camera which takes some pretty solid pictures. The front facing selfie camera is a 5 megapixel camera which definitely holds its own. The phone is IP68 dust and water resistant which I can't believe every phone isn't that way now. Uh, it also comes with an iris scanner which actually does do a pretty good job of recognizing your eyeballs. Uh, it comes with 64 gigabits of internal storage with micro SD expansion to 250. That's a lot of storage. And of course it comes with wireless charging. Those were the main reasons why I decided to switch. So let's go over what comes in the box. Of course you got all your documents, warranties, quick start guides, and all of that stuff. First thing you're greeted with, with is the USB fast charger. Oh. Cool. <laughs> and you also get the USB to USB type C for the wall charger. Glad things are switching to USB type C, that's nice. Then you also get the USB type C to USB adapter which basically you plug whatever you want into the phone USB that's pretty nice then you get yourself the USB type C to USB to micro USB for all your uh, old accessories which is a really nice touch also that is the tool for what I assume is removing the S Pen tips because there's a bunch of S Pen tips in the box or inside that bag uh, and a surprisingly nice pair of uh, earbuds um, this is the silver titanium one I wanted to get the coral blue but they did not have any when I went in so actually I'm kind of glad I ended up with this one anyway uh, the phone is well constructed it is incredibly thin uh, with the glass on the back and the glass, it actually feels pretty comfortable in the hand. Um, of course, you're going to want to put a case on it because it's an $849 phone. Could not see um, anybody not putting a case on it. Uh, but I figured it was such a beautiful day outside and here in Denver to uh, unbox an equally beautiful phone in the daylight. So uh, you are. It has been updated, so you cannot put the uh, pin in backwards. I guess that was an issue with previous uh, uh, notes. I never owned one before, so works for me. Hey, what do you guys think of this second uh, attempt at a transition with a make-believe slider I was using? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so that's just a little, uh, little note I made about the Note 7 on the lock screen. That's one of my favorite features is being able to have the lock screen and always on display is pretty nice. Uh, one of the best things about this phone is of course the S Pen. That's one of the main reasons you're buying this phone. Uh, it actually feels like you have a mouse in your hand. It's incredibly, incredibly functional. I'm not even sure that's a word, but uh, that's one of the problems I have with my fat fingers is advancing a web page, so this is kind of nice. Uh, you do not have to touch the screen, you can just hover it over what you want to do, which is kind of sweet. Um, 
so so the implementation implementation of the S Pen is 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 incredible. I understand with previous models it used to be notes here and then this was here. Everything appears to be um, implemented in the same area for ease of use and it is incredibly easy to use. Of course you can ride, you can basically ride on whatever you want and race whatever you want. Uh, so I wanted to show you how easy it is to edit a photo and add a label to the photo and create GIFs or GIFs or whatever you like to call them. It's really easy. Uh, disregard the slow text I'm doing this sideways and that's never fun. Uh, there's a good picture of my dog Sam. I figured I'd give her a label. Right. And then I want to try this first attempt. I used a pretty dark color for the pen. I thought I was once I changed the the pen, I defaulted to some dark color, so it was a little a little harder to write. But hey gonna get the point across uh, just hovering the pin over the item it brings up the little box telling you what it does so there's my first attempt uh, it's right and it's just you can't see it so let me go ahead and hit the erase pow 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 well, let's change the color so the point I'm trying to make here is that the, the pin is incredibly useful um, it's actually kind of fun it is small on the do fear I'm gonna lose it while at work, but hey, Sam loves the Note 7. So editing using the pen, everything is is, is really really easy to use. I hope the the fun and the newness of the pen doesn't wear off on me too quick, and I don't ever take it out. But I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. And another one of my f favorite things I just saw, I don't know if it's just an Android thing or if it's a Note thing, I'm sure it's just an Android thing, the fact that when you, you're doing something and you get a text message, that you can respond or reply to that text message without leaving the page you're on, which, unless I couldn't find it in my iPhone, I was never able to do that. I always had to back out, respond to the text, and come back in. And this is probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. They tell you it is waterproof, which okay, or water resistant. This phone is only a few hours old and it's $849. And I'm, they say it works, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Ran it under the water at first. Well, let's submerge it. I was shaking in my, shaking in my boots, but interest of doing a full review of an item let's let's do it right so it clearly is water resistant I would never dream of putting my iPhone in water like that but it is fully water resistant fantastic I'm trying to dry it off now there we go and just for argument's sake I left the back of it completely wet so you guys see same more and the back is still wet perfect and of course my favorite feature has to be wireless charging. This I can't believe is not a standard with all these phones we have out these days and the amount of money we pay for these phones. I did get this for $29. Great buy. A uh, case I chose to put on this is the spec case. A little more than most cases. It's sleek and it's not as big as an otter box. Hate to ugly up a pretty phone with an ugly case. But here's my iPhone 6 that I had this case on it for two full years and it absorbed a ton of damage. Uh, never damaged the phone at all, so I figured I'd go ahead and keep keep plugging spec and fantastic case. All in all guys, fantastic phone. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you like it, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, I'll give you some further impressions later on of you know month and a year in use, whatever. Uh, this is Jason with X Bacon Game, and thank you.